the prerequisite for meditation, meditation, able to sit properly and when we have strength and engage itself, we should practice sitting on the floor and a conducive posture for sitting is, one is, this is lotus posture. If this is difficult, you can make half lotus. If it is difficult, you can tuck your feet in. It's, uh, you can sit in a swastikasana or you can spread your knees as apart as you can, one ankle over the other. Siddhasana. Siddhasana, by doing this, in, sitting in Siddhasana, you can sit for a long time. You won't fall asleep. Even sometimes, even when you can sit in Padmasana, you can fall off, doze off. Whereas in Siddhasana, when you sit in Siddhasana, you won't uh, go into sleep. It's a conducive posture. And another uh, prerequisite for uh, sitting for meditation, keep your back straight, not like this. And uh, when you keep like this, energy flow is not happening properly in your spine. Spine is vertical. Spine is vertical. And chin, not like this. Droopy chin. Chin up. Chin up. Okay? This, uh, these are the, in Bhagavad Gita, it talks about in the sixth chapter, Samam Kaya Shiro Grivam Sama Kaya Kaya means body, Shira head and Griva. It is not tilted like this, it is not here in the straight line. Samam Kaya Shiro Grivam Dharayan Achalam Stiraha. And your vision, when you are sitting, you are not here looking here and there what others are doing and uh, relax, relax, relax. Your vision is relaxed. And many people, they talk about conduct meditation class. Meditation class is familiar everywhere. There are, um, even in the banks, they say before they start uh, meditation class so that they can manage the customers better. The, the real meaning of meditation, dhyana, dhyana in Gayatri Mantra, many Gayatri Mantras are there. Many Gayatri Mantras in Mahanarayana Upanishad that comes. It talks about meditation, we should, uh, and uh, like uh, uh, Narayanaya Vidmahe Vasudevaya Dhimahi Tanno Vishnu Prachodayat or Tat Purushaya Vidmahe Mahadevaya Dhimahi Tanno Rudra Prachodayat. It's a common thing. Vidmahe, it's common. Vidmahe Dhimahi. Prachodayat. Purpose of meditation, first understand, learn about what you want to know about. If I am wanting to know about my inner journey, try to study, gather the information. Without having any information, just closing in my eyes, it won't help. If I am doing a PhD thesis, writing a PhD thesis or doing a PhD, I should know what I am researching on. If I am doing on Vedanta, try to understand, get the knowledge first. It is a, whatever knowledge you get, it is a superficial knowledge, it is a gross knowledge. With my head, get the gross knowledge to begin with. Then, that is the knowledge I read from the book or some other topic, it is not my knowledge. It is given by the author or a speaker. That vidmahe, that knowledge, I have to make it to myself. How to make it to myself? Contemplate on that one. Whatever it is written, written by the author in a certain time, at certain framework of the author's mind, at that time, 500 years back or 100 years back, for a particular occasion, the speaker has spoken. And how relevant is that one to me? For that, I have to dhimahi, contemplate, contemplate, contemplate. 
what part of that one is applicable for me dhimahi when i start contemplating 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 prachodayat the new dimension of the speaker who ever has spoken or whatever have read, uh, read now it is not there but the new dimension should open up from me within me when the new dimension has opened that is my contribution until then it is not my contribution like a parrot i am blindly imitating others the meditation means try to get the gross information and contemplate 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 then when the new dimension opens up immense joy dawns immense joy dawns within one becomes happy for no reason it's a cannot contain the joy like archimedes when he discovered the when he re- realized the buoyancy principle he could not contain the joy he ran out to the street had so much of joy so much of joy and then when it happens that person becomes a genius In scripture says within every one of us there is a genius hidden within there is a genius is hidden deep within there is a potential genius we can unleash the genius within then by going within when this genius is realized that person is called as a realized person whatever is that information that has to be realized it has to be invoked from within i should get the new dimension out of that one that is called as a realized person meditation meditation is uh, one is uh, it is uh, no, get the outer information gross information through the senses eyes ears whatever one has spoken or touch gross information and after that that outer outer jnanendriya after that go within internalizes contemplate it's vidmahe dhimahi prachodayat then that its a purpose of meditation is realized when the new dimension happens the mark of a person who has realized there is a glow in the face always smile in the face and uh, many spiritual seekers in the name of spirituality they have very dull face long face very serious face it is not the mark of uh, sadhana sadhana always in joy always happy there is no long face and uh, people are scared to talk to that person not that one very radiant personality that that is the mark of a spiritual seeker as a it's a, not a dull person not a long a long face person and uh, very it's a joyful living that is the purpose of blissful living is the purpose of dhyana meditation